Hey guys, I'm Fancy and you're watching the Good Wives Network. And today I am so excited because we are going to actually go through the interrogation video. Now I did this once before for partial way through, but I got really sidetracked. And so today, so today I'm trying to do something a little different. Um, we've had our talks, we've had our lives, and we're going to do those still um, periodically throughout this, um, at least once or twice a week. We'll do the open lives where we talk about everything. And we are live today, both on YouTube and TikTok. I mean, not TikTok, I'm sorry, YouTube and Facebook on a couple different platforms on Facebook. So if you are not seeing everybody commenting in the chat, it's okay. It just means that they're on a different platform. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So today we're going to try and do something just a tad bit different. I'm going to take you through the interrogation video. So I'm going to let you guys... I, I'm, I'm asking that you, you know, you, I'm going to try and ignore the chat. So I won't be responding to you guys in there um, while I'm doing this. And then we will open it up for a Q&A after I'm done. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, for a Q&A after I'm done, only pertaining, literally only going to pertain to the inter interrogation video, Okay. Um, and then tonight when we do our TikTok from 8 to 1030, same thing, only going to apply. So if you want questions answered about the interrogation video or anything to do with the interrogation video, thank you. I do clean up well, don't I? Um, anything to the interrogation video, then um, that's what we're going to do tonight. So I'm going to pop up the player real quick here. I'm going to walk you through it and I'm hoping to get all the way through to where, um, oh, I have to show you these two. And I'm prepared. So if I get all frustrated or whatever, I've got my emotional support chickens. Isn't that cute? This is cute. All right. Anyway. Okay. So I got my emotional support chickens that I'm going to squeeze when I'm freaking out. <laughs> and, um, but I, but we're going to go through this video and I'm trying to get where to where um, she will be. We've already posted when we're going to be on tonight, Tina, uh, where we're going to be. Um, I'm hoping to get to the part where she she throws Aaliyah under the bus because I think that's a lot, a, a pretty far good place. Um, and so I'm going to um, hide this chat for myself so that I don't see it right now. Fantastic. Okay. So you guys can keep commenting in there and I will try to scroll back through with a question. But if you have a specific question when you're watching this, hold it to the end, you know, and type it in the chat when I ask for questions. Okay. Make sure you write it down so you don't forget it along the way. All right. Let's go. So here we go. Let's see. I've got this. Boom. All right. Go over here. Well, got a little plushy here, which I don't understand, and she's eating some lunch. She's got her blanket wrapped around her, all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, here, let's make it a little bigger. There we go. Um, and you can see the police activity going on out here. So they're they're keeping your eye on her. According to one of the ladies that um, came on our live the other night, she was one of the first responders here in Wisconsin. And she was telling, talking about the tension in the room and how they still were, they still thought that she could be a victim. They weren't 100% sure what the story was at this point. So, I mean, there could be more to why they put her in this little room as opposed to how Nicholas is in the other room. But um, I don't know. I, there could be a psychological aspect to it or there could not be, you know, it could have just been, Hey, we thought she was a victim. We put her in here. And then once we did, we noticed, you know, she was establishing a comfortable relationship. So we didn't want to change that and ruin it. And so, um, so this isn't very much a whole lot of importance here. I'm going to flip over here and kind of fast forward through a bunch of this. She goes to sleep. Like I said before, you know, who sleeps in, in, uh, in prison or in, in interrogation rooms, you know who that is? Guilty people, guilty people. Um, I mean, I don't know if I had just unalived my mother and I was nervous that I'm in this, this place. Do you think I'd just be laid down, taking a freaking nap? I mean, Nick certainly isn't. That's, that's not what he's doing. So let's, let me see if I can fast forward through here some more. No, still sleeping. She sleeps a lot. Okay. So you can see that there's an officer up here on the side over here. So she knows she's being watched. 
but she's not keeping up the ruse of, you know, this abused girl and all of that here, because I don't think she thinks she needs to. Uh, that's at least my assessment of it. Um, let's see if we can get it. Okay, here we go. Really hard to tell apart. Really? Yeah. And I kept getting teased. I'm like, okay, which was bitch. <laughs> and uh, they like their mom, their grandmother's clotted custard pudding. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, my dog is over here too, my emotional support dog. Okay. <laughs> and uh, for the expo itself, um, they brought all the props and um, they had this big. Um, auditorium that had the props in it that had the horcruxes in the hollow oh, okay so right now um, she's basically tour guiding for him and telling him so about the tra the fact that they bought the ex most expensive package she, so she's basically explaining that they mo they mo bought the most expensive package here to either Disney or Universal Studios, whichever one it is that she's in and talking about, but I'm sure it's probably at the same time. And she's basically explaining how that's just such a great experience and everybody should do it. What are you talking about? This is the, I thought it was a Make-A-Wish Foundation thing that you were on, right? Right? I mean, I thought so. But I mean, she has said since then that, you know, the, the trips were as fake as her, her diagnosis is. And you know, and I could totally believe that. Absolutely. Totally believe that. Okay. Um, but she's talking about meeting the entire cast of Harry Potter here as if it's just some experience that she purchased. No, folks. No, no, no. She got to sit down and have lunch with Harry Potter and, and the cast of Harry Potter so that she, because of her, because of her special needs and because of her disabilities. But meanwhile, she'll just going to tell you in a few minutes here that she's going to actually run up and down the streets on a sugar rush and be dancing. But I thought she had, was allergic to sugar and I thought she couldn't walk. But hey, you know, here we go. Let's keep going. And you um, buy the Great Hall and uh, Pottermore was there, the website. And they were sorting people. I got sorted into Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. And for years I've been. I, I see her more as a Slytherin, but okay. Break down over there. I'm like, no, I'm a Gryffindor. Every quiz I'm taking is Gryffindor. I cannot be Hufflepuff. You guys, she has just done a live to her mother, and now she is sitting here um, talking about how she should be a Hufflepuff on Harry Potter. Whereas that, they can uh, just sort you out of the spot. Okay. <laughs> No, this is this is the live right now, guys. Um, but I also took an online quiz. Okay. And the funniest thing is the you would think that Gryffindor is righteous and they do the right thing mm -hmm. and um they're brave, but they're also good. But um there are a lot of people telling me they're more like Slytherin than you would think. It's just ah. more uh, bad wizards that come from Slytherin than Gryffindor. I think I've heard that. Yeah. And um, and the quiz that I did, I was honest, and I'm like, a lot of my answers were true to my personality. And so I got sorted into Hufflepuff. But I guess Hufflepuff would have to be most um, good, I guess you would say. I'm oh, then you must have lied when you were taking the test, I bet. that. I mean, that would be what I would think. Someone got Slytherin, he's like, She's writing another book. No. Yeah, it's, I can't think of what it's called. It's like a. It's based off the Harry Potter series. I forgot which character it's based off of. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I hope they make another movie. Well, they're gonna be making another movie, but. Are they? Mm -hmm. But um. Make sure you get that calcium, girl. This one is like sixty years before Harry Potter. It's um. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, I, okay. Yes, I remember that now. Yeah. I wonder if that's the book I'm thinking of, too. Maybe I just got it mixed up and they're just making a movie. I don't know. Could be. Marvel's it's exciting. Really yeah. yeah, I've read those books ever since I was just little. Yeah. A long time ago. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. So you got to go down to that. <laughs> people carrying around um, wands and 
Oh, it was Harry Potter mania. <laughs> it was like everybody was in robes, everybody had wands. It was pretty awesome. I don't, Ethan, I don't think that would help. She could beat a lie detector, in my opinion. It's not hard to do. I got to go to um, Magic Kingdom, and uh, I went and danced the waltz with Prince Charming <laughs> and Cinderella. Really? That was really fun. Um, my mom and I got to Disney dining. So I am trying to, you know, I kind of peeped the comments account, and I saw somebody said, I thought she was lactose intolerant. Didn't she get sick at Waffle House? She's drinking milk. How, hey, Nick said at the Waffle House, she kicked up a fuss because, you know, she was lactose intolerant. And and you guys, you got to don't don't necessarily listen to all the words when we're watching this uh, unless you want to go back and re replay it again. But when you replay it again, if you do and you've got the comment, you know, you've got captions on or whatever, turn off the voice and watch this just her her mannerisms, her behaviors, her facial expressions. Do all of that because she gives you a lot of information in all of that. Her body language gives her away. Her her facial expressions gives her away. Um, oh, maybe it is apple juice. It looks like milk to me. <laughs> but, you know. Um, but you can see a lot when you turn off the, the sound when you're watching her. But on top of that, um, when she gets that higher pitch, when she's hitting that higher octave, that is an indication of deception. That is an indication that she's going up into that higher register, that higher baby voice, because she needs them to understand what she, what she, she needs them to pay attention to that. She needs them to understand her. She needs them to believe her lies all the way around. So she's, she's definitely, um, manipulating the situation and 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 you're right she doesn't believe she needs a lawyer she never thought she was in danger of going to to prison I, I i mean i truly truly believe she just never thought it it didn't cross her mind she had a plan she knew what she was going to do and you know she it, it was brutal guys what she did what nick did was brutal brutal there were many other ways that if you needed to unalive your mother for you to do it but but she chose the most brutal. And if you go and you listen to her on the testimony in, in Nick's trial, um, um, if you go and you watch Nick's trial, she talks about all the different ways that they came up with to unalive her mother. She mentions arson, poison, um, she and they, they they ask her why she doesn't go with poison, and she says, "Oh, because I couldn't find an odorless and tasteless poison that I could put in her drink." Oh, wow, well, very kind of you. But the, all the ways that she came up with her. Now, Nick, Nick's thought process was, "Hey, let's just run away. I'll just come get you. We'll just leave. I'll just I'll just take care of you. Bring you back to my parents' house. Yeah, I'll be good." And she could have done that, folks. She could have done that, folks. That's not what she wanted to do. She decided her mother needed to go. Now, I don't know why she decided that. I can definitely tell you my assessment is it had nothing, absolutely no things to do with abuse. Absolutely no things. Because if it was abuse, it would be a completely different situation that we're sitting here and talking about today. What she wanted out of was control of her mother. And I do believe her mother was controlling and she wanted boys. And it is a pattern that she has that she has repeated over and over and over again. And anytime somebody gets in the way of her and her fantasy love life, you become collateral damage to her. They, she only cares about two things, her fantasy life and her money and celebrity status, guys. That's it. That's all she cares about. Okay, let's keep going. I don't either. I, I just, I can't, I, I just can't with her. And, and I think the, the, the lifetime show and all the freaking social media and all the, you know, and I'm so glad I waited to, to work on our documentary because it gave me everything I needed to know that I was still questioning and that I was still going, um, it, nope, nope. She has literally driven me to the point where I just, I have no more empathy. What you did was brutal what you did was manipulative. What you did was calculated. What you did was cunning. And just because you say you didn't wield that jabber, I, I don't believe you for one second. I don't. And and she used it for three years, guys, to whittle away at a guy who was com was a diminished capacity, who did not have the the way the 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 
wherewithal to stand against her. His his idea was let's do something else. She just would not have that, not at all. Oh, but I thought she had a feeding tube, didn't she? Way too much sugar. Totally fed through a feeding you know, tube, right? With her mama blending up the the butterbeer and putting it through the food through the through the, the thing. Night, it was closing time. I was so filled with sugar that I was dancing up and down Main Street at wow. Magic Kingdom. And then um, it's funny kind of because the park was all closed. The castle was there, and um, I I go through the castle and I touch the railing and I'm like. But I mean, she's in a wheelchair, folks. How did she go on these 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 crazy rides? Because they don't let you on certain ones. She's living her best life. Can't bring me down. Probably like 15 years ago now. The only thing I remember was that I probably even longer than that was the. Uh, the big subway thing that was up on oh the monorail that, yeah the monorail oh. to ride around i mm -hmm. thought that was so cool and that i think it was epcot mm -hmm. they had a bunch of different flavors of soda or something like that yes yeah. i went do that yeah, well, you there, tried beverly there was your, that's a really bad one Okay, so basically she continues to tour guide for him here. I'm going to fast forward a little bit further, guys. Let's go on. Um, she talks more about all the things she's done, and she talks about – there is one point where she does talk about how when she goes to St. Louis or Kansas City or whatever, she goes to see the doctors. That's the bad stuff. And then when she goes to see – then she gets to do all the reward stuff. Oh, really? You're just telling on yourself right there. It's a reward system, just like we said. Okay, well, let's keep going. Let's get her. She's sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Get over here. Okay, so here. Let me get right in here. So now I'm going to get to the part where the detect, where Stan comes in. All right, here we go. So this is where, where Detective Hancock comes in. Okay. I'm Mike. And uh, again, Stan's going to come up and talk to you. All right. Okay. How are you? Do you need anything? Okay. No, you're all good. There's some paperwork of yours here. I'm just going to leave it outside the door so remember that uh, it's here. How's the sandwich? Oh, it's very delicious. I think you're the first person I've ever heard say that. <laughs> I eat them both. There you go. That's all right. complimenting the sandwich, complimenting those things. That's not because she, that's not because, you know, she's not been fed her whole life and the sandwich is just so much better guys. No, what she's doing right there is she is, she is, uh, she's establishing rapport with him. And so by telling him that the sandwich is delicious, Oh, thank you so much. She's trying to create a friend. She's trying to create an ally right there in, in my opinion. And just remember, this is all in my opinion, allegedly, and for entertainment and educational purposes only. Um, right, right, right. I would have loved to have, loved to have a longer mukbang. All right. But Stan's about to come in here. So I want you guys to get that part here. And go to the house where I was at because that's where all my stuff is. And then she's going to go home to her little pink house and all the money she left behind, guys. And she's going to, you know, go meet Dan and at the cupcake shop. And she's going to go on living her life while Nick does his time and he's on his journey. Just, just remember that, guys. Just remember that. You know what? I just want to show you. Let's go, let's go look here real quick. Let me get my other part of this up. Give me one second, guess Rowdy Hush. Rowdy, stop. Will you stop? Please. Stop, please. 
Okay, let me see here. Let's see if this is, oh, no, that's definitely not the one I was looking for. Oh, just one second, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the other piece to this that I was looking. Sorry, guys. Just give me one more second. I wasn't going to pull it up, but... But here we go. Here's one. We'll just, I just want to show you for a minute. Oh, I guess they uncuffed him in this one. All right, hold on. I'm going to present a different screen. Um, stop the screen. Hold on. I'll give you another scare, share screen here. Yep. Okay. So, just, oh, hold on. My battery is running low. Apparently, my dog unplugged it. Just give me one second. But okay. sorry, guys. Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right. So let me make this. A little bigger. Close the back. Okay, so just so you see, this is the difference. This is the room that Nicholas has been in for 16 hours at this point. Um, I guess this is probably hour 14, um, 13, part 13. So each one of them was broken into like, you know, a couple, an hour, hour and a half. So we've got 16 of these. So he's sitting here, and for most of the part of the time, he actually sits with his hands cuffed behind his back. Apparently, now they've given him in his little rickety chair. Um, he's got a blanket now. He's had his lunch. You see that's there, you know, and, um, and so you've got all of that going on, but this is what he's looking like right now. You know, meanwhile, she's over here, comfy as can be slapping a pillow, fish pillow around. It's tour guiding for everybody. And, and we've got, you know, we've got that. So let me go back now. Top screen, present, share screen. All right. Bella, please go lay down, honey. Um, I, I glass of water, that's that's a very distinct possibility. Come on, it takes forever for him to walk in the room, but if I fast forward, I always miss it. Missouri. I'm trying to just go back to where he first comes in. Okay, I think it's right here. <sighs> so far, she thinks her plan is working. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Gypsy. Is it Stan? Hi, Gypsy. What's your guys' talk? I'm Detective Hancock. I'm the Green Cat Sheriff's Office. How are you today? Good. You doing all right? Good. Good. All right. Well, Gypsy, I'm here and I'm going to get a little bit of information from you. So, um, since this is the first time I've ever met you, okay? So, um, what is the correct spelling of your first name? It's G-Y-P-S-Y-R-O-S-E. My middle initial is A. Okay. And my last name is B L A N C H A R D. B L A N C H A R D. B L A N C H A R D is Blanchard. Blanchard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And your date of birth, Gypsy? Is 727 On here they have. Okay. Now listen. I want you to see how she did that. Okay, first of all, she spelled the name and she spelled it wrong, which was funny, which, okay, fine. You can say that's her educational level, whatever, right, right? And then he asks her a very poignant question. He asks her, 
How old are you, Gypsy? Does she say how old she is? No, 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 no. What does she start in with right away? Instead of saying, oh, I'm 19 or, oh, I'm 23. No, no. She starts in with the patent lie. The lie she knows she's been telling. The lie that she's supposed to have been escaping this whole time, right? The whole freaking lie. Yes, it was added by Dee Dee. Right. Okay. The whole freaking lie. She's going to go into the Medicaid lie right here, guys. This is this is insanity. I, I This was the moment I realized, oh my God, I think I've got this all wrong. I think I've been luck, looking in the wrong direction. I think I've been manipulated into believing a story that just isn't true. I have um, I one because um, it makes a long story, but okay, sure. um, me and my mother are Hurricane Katrina survivors. Okay. And um, my birth certificate was washed away in Katrina. Okay. And um, unfortunately, uh, they messed up. A long time ago, they messed up the paperwork, and it said 1991, but it's actually 95. Okay, and that puts you at how old then? Um, I would be a really 19, but on here it's my um, Medicaid. My medical insurance has 23. Okay, all right. So I, how old actually are you? Let's get 19. that question. 19, okay. <laughs> Social Security. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You said, do you know your uh, Social Security? Okay, well, you can go back and watch it again. Um. But she literally tells him the whole story. On my bracelet, it it's it's got the wrong date. It we are Hurricane Katrina survivors. We bobbity blah 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 blah. We 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 were 19 and da 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 da. I'm 19, but this says 23. Guys, she's 23. It literally says so on her bracelet by a verified birth certificate and who she is. But you know, Medicaid's got it wrong, and mama provided him with the them with the correct birth certificate, but they've just not checked, they've just not fixed it. It, folks they've just not fixed it and it's just a big long mix up but she's really just a hurricane survivor hurricane katrina survivor and she's really just she's just 19 that's what she is and she was a month away from her 24th birthday just like love shack says let's keep going unfortunately i don't i brought my card with me okay. but um it's at my boyfriend's house okay we'll, we'll get it that way then. oh you mean your hitman's house um, now how long have you actually lived there in missouri um, in Missouri since 2006. 2006? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. No, that's a lie. Yeah, no, that's okay. Right. Never had work since you've been in Springfield. Did you work out in Louisiana or anything? No, okay. Sir. Do you have family down in Louisiana? Um, I have some, but um, unfortunately we're not on good speaking terms. Uh, I, wait a minute. You're not in good speaking terms. Um, that's really funny because you had a you had a secret Facebook that you were literally communicating with your father and Christy and anyone else that you wanted. In fact, you had five different Facebooks. But remember, guys, she made a post the other day that she doesn't know how Facebook works. But she had five different accounts at least that we have found at the time that she had this, and she just couldn't couldn't in any one of those accounts. She just couldn't. She just couldn't contact anybody to help her. She just she just couldn't, guys. She just, it had to be, it had to be Schmurder. It just, it just had to be. I mean, it just, it just really had to be because of the, you know, abuse that she never mentions. Okay. All right. And now do you have any family here in Missouri? I'm sorry, we're in another okay. state. So. Okay. Um, I have my mom that lives in Missouri. Okay. My dad. And is that it or do you have anybody else? Um... Does friends count or not really? Well, no, like biological, like okay. brother or sister, siblings, nothing like that. Okay, so are you an only child then? Okay. Okay, well, there she goes. I'm an only child. Now, get this, okay? I can understand maybe that means that I'm an only child because my mother only had one child. But she literally knows she has a half brother and a half sister and has been in millions of pictures with them and every different event that she freaking has been at guys. And I, you know, I used to think that Rod wasn't involved at all. And I, I believed that that was the story they told. Oh, she kept moving her far, 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 far away, blah, 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 all those things. Right. Right. But if you watch the 2020 interview, uh, there's tons and tons and tons of pictures I've never seen of the two of them together. And I've seen a lot of pictures of the two of them together. Do, do you get this? It's a grift. It's a con. It's not about abuse, folks. It's never been about abuse. 
teaching a kid to lie and cheat and steal and con, that's absolutely abuse. But in these types of families where that's the normal, it becomes normalized. It's what her normal was. She was happy with it. She was fine with it. She didn't care. She was benefiting from it. She was happy in every video, every picture. There was never a moment that you could ever see that she was just not gleefully freaking happy. Okay. Until whatever happened with her smexual activity upset her mother somehow. And her mother was not allowing her to date 35-year-old men online. And that's what she wanted. But, you know, no, she did not give her unnecessary medicine. And we're not discussing all of that today. We'll talk about that in another day. We're trying to stick to this today. You're going to have to come back for the, the medical talks. Of, and, and you can find out why we believe this is not medical child abuse. Um, Colleen and I have looked at this extensively. Colleen has a master's in nursing education. She's an assistant director in a nursing educational, educational broad program. And we have just brought on another doctor to look at these files as well. We've talked with them about with other ses, with other professionals in the industry. And I'm telling you, I do not believe this is medical child abuse, not in any way, shape or form. Abuse is abuse, but this is not the, what you have been led to believe. And when you're talking about an abuse like this, where a family, a generational trauma, generational abuse, things get real murky, guys, on what is right and what is wrong and what is really abuse and what is really not. And your abuser becomes the abusee and the abusee becomes the abuser. I mean, it's just it's just a cycle. And she's doing absolutely no things to break that cycle. Not any. She's not being encouraged to be to be better. She's she's still got the same people around her that failed her in the first place. And anyone that tries to actually from the family reach out to her and be be helpful or kind, she blocks them, says nasty stuff to them, and then she she's already done that to one of the one of her aunts. And I will be showing some of that conversation later tonight or maybe tomorrow. But let's keep going because I really want to get through to the part where. I, I, he, he so what sort of things do you like to do? I mean, what kind of hobbies do you like? I love art. The art? Um, I'm okay. into the movies. Um, I love animals. Um, now remember, remember, there are stories. There is a dirty cat box in the in the in the crime scene photos that I missed at one point. Um, they, they allegedly had cats. It's in, it's in the files, feral cats that she was feeding. And that's why she couldn't use her CPAP. Where are those cats? Where are the cats? Did she just turn them out? Did they get left in the house? Where are the hell are the cats? And if she cared so much about taking care of animals and loving them, why would she just abandon the cats? Right. But you know, you know, she's never had any animals according to her in her new life. She's never been able to have an animal. She was never allowed to do any of those things. So now she's got her little pixie dog. Well, I'm telling you what, mark my words, how long is it going to be before that pixie dog has, has medical problems? I'm just saying, just saying. Okay, keep going here. Well, Gypsy, um, we are here investigating something, so I do need to talk with you about some things, okay? Um, I'm <laughs> I also want you to notice this is a stranger to her. Do you see how he's kind of he he's got a a pose that's kind of leaned toward her but kind of backed away from him or backed away from her? So he's he is realizing already. He he can feel that deception and he's kind of recoiling it from her, but he's leaning in because that's what you do to try and lean into someone you're, you're trying to get to give you information or that you're trying to elicit something from, you know? So watch her. Right now though, she's never seen this guy before. And and I some of my friends have picked up on this and said things to me on different channels and that's kind of what what brought me to look at this again this way. But look at how she is leaning in towards him already right she's still covered up so she's still thinking about okay um i i'm not sure about this guy i don't know what he knows let me see what i can find out but you know she's she's already told him a couple lies and he seems like he's buying it okay okay i think i'm doing a well so she's leaning into him now because now he's about to tell her 
oh, I, why you're here, right? So she's she's got to find out why she's there, folks, because she doesn't know, right? And she is extremely excited to talk. Yes, yes. So, okay. And oh, wait, wait, and she's using the blanket as a shield. Yes, yes. Because you can see after a while, she drops the blanket and starts opening up more as time goes on. Yep, yes, yes. And there was pictures of her in a pageant when she was younger. And she was a little cheerleader in, in probably Head Start when she was, no, it's not Head Start. What is it called? Um, head, head Up or something. It's one of the ones that they can do. And they, it's, they have cheerleader teams and they have sports teams. And the little cheerleaders, they um, they they uh, cheer for the sports teams. And it's it's kids. Upward. That's what it is here. I don't know what it's called otherwise. But it's like through the state, it's a program that they can do. And I think that's what it was. But okay, let's keep going here. So, because now he's going to start. And you know what, guys? I know that we think that his analogies are just absolutely ridiculous with the snowball and the pencil. But I'm telling you what, dude, snowball pencil guy got it done. Hancock got this done. He 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 knew from the second. It's why he does. People ask, why didn't he let her talk? Because he wasn't going to subscribe to any of her lies. He wasn't going to let her get away with it. He wasn't going to let him, let her distract him. Because remember, I keep telling you guys, it's all a distraction. It's all a distraction. It's all a distraction. Because that's what she's doing right now. She is trying to distract him. And the planning that went into this, like somebody said, okay, this was three years of her wearing a person down to actually commit murder. Think about what that took, guys. You are, if you're such a scared person and your mother is so abusive to you, do you really think that you're going to risk three years of planning her murder, her murder? Seriously? Three years, constant text messages, constant time on the, on the internet, constant everything, taking selfies, doing all the sexy shit, being with this guy, asking about, that all took planning, folks. That all took lots and lots of planning. And shall I read it again for you before we close out tonight? When I when we get done, I'll read the paper for you again so you can hear her exact words of what she wanted to do once she unalived her mother with Nicholas. It's it's shocking. It's very shocking. I'm going to go grab some water while I let this run for a minute. So hopefully you guys can get through. Um, Yes. Munchausen by proxy was mentioned one time in the files. In fact, I talked with Dr. Steele about this today. And... Um, not the Dr. Steele, not her Dr. Steele, but a different Dr. Steele. Sorry, I'm trying to get over here so you guys can still see me or hear me. But um, yeah, no, she, she, it, it was created by Mike. Yeah, he was brilliant. And I think, that, like I said, though, the DA is, the DA, in my opinion, is, is, is corrupt. So it didn't take a lot of convincing. So let's go. All right, guys, here you go. I'm thankful because I have no idea why I'm here. Okay. Nobody was meeting. Oh, she got no reason, yeah, this, no reason to know why she's there, guys. Here to Kind of help you out with that, okay? So, um, I am going to put this to Miranda to share real quick, okay? And as I'm reading this, I just, if you don't understand something, I want you to stop me and say that you don't understand, okay? It's not being rude, it's not implied or anything, okay? And just let me know. Um, what, uh, how much schooling do you have? Um, unfortunately, I was homeschooled, but um, my education is kind of scattered, so I have the basic of a third grader. Okay. Do you know how to read and write okay and everything? Okay, good. Not too much spell, very good, but I can read. Okay. How would you say your comprehension level is? Well, you taught yourself to read on Harry Potter, so I'd say it's pretty high, guys. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have your lawyer present with you, or you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before you question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Did you understand everything that I read you? Okay. Um, do you have a cell phone number? No. No, not at nope. all. Nope. She says she doesn't, right? Just a minute. She's going to catch her in a lie. Okay. Phone. What's that number? 417 833 8501. 8501. Okay. Uh, do, do you ever do anything on the computer? Do you ever play games or anything on the computer? Do you ever mess with the computer or anything like that? Um. Except for the one that I was yeah, arrested with asked. and all the ones in my home. Played around on or anything like that? No. No, mom didn't let me do that. No, I just dated men online. My mom, my mom didn't let me use one because she was like, it's unsafe. So oh, really? Yeah. Why did she feel like that was unsafe? Um, because she was trying to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Um, I don't think she really knew what she was doing. Okay. Um, I don't think she really knew what she was doing. 
overprotective. That's a tell right there, guys. That's that's something that's going to indicate to an officer that he absolutely knows he's got the right person because she already told you, tended. That's past tense right there. Past tense. Okay. So, and look at her smile. Look at her smile. She got a big grin right there. She tended. She tended to be a little overprotective. She used a little squeaky voice and she turned her head. Did you see it? Yeah. Tended. And again, I want to make sure you understand. Never about abuse. What does that talk about? Overprotective. Control. I want it out of the control of my mother. Let's keep going. Okay. That's it. Um, understandable. <clears throat> um, I want to tell you that, that what I've got to talk to you about, um, if, if you're involved in this, then you need to tell me that now. Okay. I'm completely 100% honest. Oh, she's completely 100% honest, except when she's talking to her own lawyers, because she, she admits it. She wasn't freaking 100% honest with them ever either. She's In fact, she's never been 100% honest. She's never been 100% honest. That That's truthful. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And let me let me talk for just a second, okay? But if you're involved in this, then you need to be honest with me. You need to tell me now. Again, and she's leaning forward into him. Family. Now the blanket's coming down. She's to trying to show him that, that she's completely honest. She's gonna on, she's gonna tell him the whole truth. Uh, that you need to be made aware of, and I think that you're aware of. Okay, okay. all right. Um, my my concern at this point. Um, let me let me back up with something. Um, you're you're here. Do you know where you're at right now? Yes. Okay, where are you at right now? Um, I'm at the Waukesha Police Department. Okay. All right, and. How did you, did you lived in Missouri at one point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how did you get from Missouri to here? Not about a week ago, um, it was, um, I... Well, now see, she's searching for the story just to make him think that she what well, didn't have it ready. She does her arm movements. <laughs> she laughs. It's her little tick. That, that's her tick. That <laughs> after That's when she's about to tell you a whopper of a lie. It all started when I met my boyfriend Nick. Boy, I just caught that. When I said it was all about a boy, guys. There you go. It all started when I caught when I start when I met my boyfriend Nick. So up until that point, mom and her were okay. She didn't mind the abuse. She didn't mind the freaking things that she was doing. She didn't, she was allowed to go online. She'd been, a, she'd been intimate with a guy. She, she'd had smacks. She was doing great. She was having online relationships, but it all, it all just went bad guys. When, you know, when she, when she met Nick, that, that, that was it. It just was so, so bad. And, um, we met on an online dating website. Um, my mom had a laptop. And so I used her. Oh, but wait, didn't you say you didn't know how to use a laptop and hadn't used a laptop? For just a second, okay. Uh, earlier when I said, let's be honest with each other, okay? I'll be honest with you as long as you're honest with me. See, that's what he, so he's basically telling her, I know you're lying, you're caught in a lie, and you need to stop. Because I'm just going to continue to stop you when you try to give me a lie. I'm not going to even, I'm not even going to listen to it. I'm not even going to give it any holding water whatsoever. No, I'm going to tell you, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. If you don't lie to me, I'll be good to you. If you be good to me. Okay. But no, no. And look at her smiling again. Guys, she knows why she's there. She has unlined her mother and here she is smiling like a cuckoo bird. She's literally smiling with her entire freaking face. And she knows why she's there and what he's about to tell her. But wait a minute. She's giving him all of that so that she doesn't, so she can give him her great Emmy moment in one, two, three, four seconds. Okay. And I want you to understand that your honesty goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want something. She's got her lips, got her hands crossed, the whole thing, right? Well, we'll use that as an example. Okay. 
you don't want that snowball to be so big mm-hmm. that you know how when you pack a snowball and it's real small, mm-hmm. what happens when you start rolling it down a hill? It's bigger. It's bigger. Okay. And what happens if you start telling lies? They, they get big. Yeah, you don't He's right. You said, which right. ones you told. And as soon as that thing gets so big, it goes down the bottom of the hill and it crashes <laughs> into a lot of people. Okay. I mean, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. All right. And it hurts a lot of people, right? Because it's so big and crashes and hurts. Right. Now, if, if you're telling the truth, that's not going to happen. Isn't that right? Right. Okay. So um, that, that's kind of why I want you to be honest with me about this. Absolutely. Okay. About some things. All right. So uh, we need to. Okay, I want you to notice she's nodding her head yes when she's saying absolutely. She's nodding her head yes because she wants him to believe her. And when you nod your head yes, you it's natural for a person to, with you, nod their head with you. When you go no, no, someone will start to shake their head back and forth. She's doing that. It's yes, yes. I'm going to be totally honest. I, I, I mean, yeah, I, 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 honesty is very important. You're right. Except that I don't know how to be honest if my life depended on it, but she's trying, like she said, who, who'd boot Vakal. I don't know how you say your name. That's a really crazy name, but, um, um, she, she's trying to establish and get him on her side. Okay, because I, I don't think that, that this is something that you, um, the intention is not, wasn't there. You know, I don't think you <laughs> I really don't. I think that you're a smart, smart person, okay? I think that you, you know, sometimes oh, you she's smart. Hand, and I think sometimes that's what's happening with you, okay? Um, and, and I want you to understand that um, you need to be honest with me. And, and if you're involved in anything that I'm about ready to tell you, then you need to tell me, okay? Um, your mom's dead okay now what i want to ask you is wait 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 what did you see first though the the first reaction was no reaction it was literally and then she went oh fuck i need to relax react to this so so that so wait 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 what because oh my god i didn't know that oh my god but let's keep going Your, your mom's your mom's passed away okay and she's deceased all right now, what I want to ask you, did you have involvement in this? Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, listen to me for just a second, okay? I want you to understand something, okay? Look, there's no tears, and she stops immediately. You remember the snowball that we talked about? You remember the, the pencil that we talked about? I'm going to almost demonstrate something with the pencil here, okay? Look at me. Look at me for just a second, okay? Sometimes people are going along. You know how you got a pencil? You got the lead here and you got the eraser right here, right? You know what I'm talking about? You've seen a pencil, right? You've used a pencil before, right? No way I would be able to follow his story right now. I would literally be on the ground freaking devastated. And you take that pencil and you're writing along with your story. Well, sometimes some people make mistakes when they write stuff down, don't they? We've all made mistakes. You've made mistakes. I've made mistakes, right? You ever ever made a mistake in your life? Yeah. And I could have been in my life. And hang, hang on just a second, okay? When, you, when you're writing. So now she tries to divert him again. But but my mom didn't. Because she doesn't like where he's going with the story. All of a sudden you make a mistake. Well, what do you do with that mistake? You take that pencil and you flip it over. And you start erasing stuff, okay? And you erase it. And you recorrect it. And you take that pencil. And then you rewrite your history, your story, okay? And I kind of think that's where you're at with this tonight. Okay, uh-huh. that you have a chance to rewrite your story, and I think that that's what you can do is you can rewrite your story tonight. Okay, I like I said earlier, I don't think you're a bad person. I really don't. You know, I don't think that that's you at all. And you're not out here, you know, doing things that are so bad that nobody wants to talk to you. Well, you're not out here out. committing murder, or gypsy. You're okay. not doing that. You're that's right. What I do think. Okay, what I do think is there's some stuff going on that you, that you and I need to talk about. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. Why? These it just, happen, oh, excuse okay? me. Uh-huh. And that's where we're at with this. Okay? Now, I want you to understand something. That you need to, you need to be, look at me, okay? Look at me for just a second. Okay? You're in a situation where you can help yourself right now. Okay? He's and trying to give her the out, guys. Here's her okay. op- opportunity. Yeah. Again, another opportunity okay. to talk about abuse. Because the more and more you let that snowball roll down that hill and get bigger, what's going to happen is going to explode. And that's what's going to happen with you, you know. You don't want that, do you? I don't think you do. I wouldn't want that. So we've got to rewrite history, 
-hmm. We've got to rewrite some things, don't we? Uh -huh. Okay. And mm -hmm. I think that's where we're at with all this, right? Uh -huh. What happened with your mom that night? Um, I don't know what happened with my mom at all. Okay. You, just listen to me. So she's repeating a question back to him what happened to your mom. instead of answering okay. him. You know exactly. I, I, sweetheart, I, I, listen to me. Let's, let's not go down that road of taking your pencil and writing a bunch of mistakes down. And then when you get to a certain point, that paper's gone. And guess what? You can't erase it, can you? No. You can't erase it anymore. Do you want that? No. I don't think you do. I think you're smart enough to understand. Where I, I like the catch on the on know. the body language not changing, okay. the body posture not changing, whoever made that right. comment. That's I wouldn't awesome. be here if I didn't know. And I know the answer to a lot of these questions. Okay. I already know them, okay? I know them, and I'm giving you a chance to be honest with me, okay? Because you don't want this thing to spiral out. Okay, I have to tell a funny story real quick because it pertains to what he's talking about. I know that you're lying. He's telling her. I know that you're telling me lies. And I used to tell my kids, I had three girls. We had hard relationships. I had a hard relationship with my mother. But I used to tell my girls three freaking things, you know? Um, and the third one is always kind of funny. I'm being flippant with it, but take it for what it is, okay? I There's three rules to lying, guys. The first one is don't insult me with a crappy lie. If you're going to lie, at least make it funny, believable, something. Do something. Don't just give me some shitty lie that you think I'm going to freaking just write onto it, hook, line, and sinker. No, thank you. Number two is when you're caught, you're caught. And you give up everything at that point, because if I already know, I already know. And if I already know some of it, chances are I probably know all of it. And if I don't, I'll find out. So you might as well just give it up or I'm never going to believe you again. The third one that I used to tell my kids, the third rule to lying is don't lie to a professional liar. I'm an actress. I'm a writer. That's what I do. Okay. So I can spot lies a mile of freaking way when I know what I'm looking for. Because I know how to write that. I know how to do that in that setting. And this is her setting. This is her setting. This is her stage. This is what she's doing. And it's all because of a boy. And she just didn't want to have to take care of mama no more. I mean, that that's my honest opinion. That's my honest assessment of it. I think that it's crazy. Don't bullshit a bullshitter, right? Don't play bullshit with me because I'm going to win. But, but I don't like lying. It's not something I like doing. I don't consider what I do as really lying. It's pretending, it's writing, it's telling a story and taking a narrative, you know, when I'm writing fictional stories. But when I'm talking about truthful things like a schmurder, good Lord, but all she's doing is, 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 is literally burying her own self right here. And you're right, Kayla Burke. That's why in the document right there in her own words, she said that she would have to plan everything. Nicholas could not do planning. She knew it. She knew it. She says that if she says it in the, in that, that letter that or in that video, she says that, that she would have to step back if it was a family member, because she knows that she, that because she, and let him handle it because, you know, she would handle it so brutally, brutally. That's her word. Brutal, brutal, her word, brutal. Let's keep listening. Pull this down. Brutally murdered, brutally, brutally murdered her mother. Whether she had the knife in her hand or not, she knew exactly what happened to her mother and she planned that and she knew it was going to happen for over two years. Three, maybe, four, maybe. I don't know. Okay. He's here. He's, he's in here. Okay. All right. Yes. Jody Arias reminds me of her so much. That, that's the thing, guys. I don't have to have my degree to say something like, I see sociopathic tendencies here. Because people that create these problems, people that do these kinds of crimes, people that do this kind of hard, long con manipulation tactics, okay, they all have the same personality types. They all have the same 
tells. They all have the same thought process. And it's so transparent when you actually see it. You, they, they're they really good at holding a veil for a very long time. They can hold it there. And as long as it's a surface veil and you're just not asking the questions, that veil will hold. But as soon as you start, you know, hitting that, hitting that veil, hitting that veil with something, that veil starts to go like this, like this, like this. And then it just drops away. That's what happens. And you can see it. But you have to know what you're looking for. And with Gypsy, it, it, it's just, it's so there. But if you're not looking for it and you pay attention to the distraction, you'll miss it. And you'll make excuses for her like everyone does. Oh, she was abused. Oh, she was this. Oh, no, no. Let's not, let's not get it twisted, guys. She unalived a person and she convinced someone to do it for over three years. That is cold and calculated, and I don't have empathy for her anymore. I have empathy and sympathy for the little girl that didn't ask to be brought in this world, that didn't ask for her daddy to abandon her, that didn't ask for everybody to fail her, and certainly didn't ask to be brought in on a con to support themselves and have a wonderful life. But she did. It's sad and tragic. But if we allow this behavior to continue, then she will be unable to break the generational trauma and she will take out as many people as she can with her unknowingly and knowingly. Okay. All right. So he's just told her now her mom's dead. She's given the, given the crazy, you know, <gasps> moment. Oh my, oh my God. And the fake tears without changing any part of her body stature, nothing. Okay. So he's talking about the snowball and how it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to crush her. And she doesn't lie. She's totally honest. You say, hold on. Do not get yourself in a bunch of lies. Because what's going to happen, that snowball is going to get so huge, sweetheart, that it's going to explode on you. And you're never, ever going to get yourself out of it. Do you understand me? I understand. So I, I want to know, okay, why? Write down to her name, Gypsy. Why, yep. why did you guys hurt your mom? Okay. So, sweetheart, look, look at me. Look at me. Nope. See, he does. He shuts her down again. Nope. Nope. You got kids. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it's happening. And I want you to understand something. Don't dig yourself out. Don't go down that path. Oh, she's going to pat. She's, she's patting to make him feel safe. You she's patting. She doesn't think she needs one, guys. She doesn't think she needs a lawyer. You'll hear her call out for a lawyer in a little in, in the next video when we do it later. I don't tell lies. I don't tell lies. Don't don't sit here and lie to me because if you do, what's going to happen is it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're not going to remember the ones that you've told other people, okay? Other people that I've probably already talked to. You understand that? I understand. Okay. Um, why? Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Damn it, come on. I get off the bill. We'll talk about that here in a minute. And I'm glad you're making that, that, that progress, okay? I'm proud of you for that. But the first thing that we need to get out of, out of the way right now is why. That's the biggest thing. Do you have, you, you know, you've I got mean, friends. You've got friends that yes, love you. Of course and I know. For you I know, you, and, you and your mom yes, have friends I, that care for you. I and know. They're, you know what? They're down there at the bottom of the seal with that snowball. Okay, so now he's talking about the friends, the neighbors, the neighbors that were so concerned that all of them came over there and gathered around her house, all of them considering that one of them even got other people fired for going through the freaking window because they were just so stinking worried about Gypsy. Aaliyah is one of those people. Aaliyah is her best friend, her confidant, the person that she loves the most. She calls her her big sister. She told her all about Nick and how they were going to run away and she was going to have his babies and they were going to name him a Nicholas Go to John Jr. And, and the girl was going to be named Sophia, I think. I can't remember. There was just so many things. My dog doesn't like Gypsy's voice either. Uh, in fact, I don't know anybody who likes her voice. I can't imagine somebody would enjoy listening to that all damn day. So wait a minute. She hasn't got to calling her that yet, but let's, let's keep listening to her talk about it. You know, so he's telling him, everybody cares about you, Gypsy. They just want to know why you did this, which is what everybody wants to know. Why did you do this, Gypsy? Why? 
Why did you take your mom's life in such a brutal manner? Why didn't you just walk out the door? Why didn't you tell anybody? Why, why, why? It's the question we're still asking today. Why? Why? And they're, they're asking all these questions. They're asking why. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. You an answer as to why. Okay. I, you have to give me an answer as to why because they are so concerned about you. You see how she's doing that thing now, that gulping and that whole thing. That's because she realizes, okay, I don't, I'm not safe now. I don't know if he's gonna buy my story. Oh, oh dear, I, I gotta, I gotta get closer. I gotta do whatever, you know. I, I he does he. I used to get annoyed by him and his snowball and eraser shit and everything. But you know what? Somebody up there said it was his torture, his way of torturing her. It was. It was his way of calling her on her bullshit. Every time she tried to open her mouth and say some bullshit. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not listening to that shit. I don't, that, none of that matters. You're just trying to distract me. No, no, no. That's why he never lets her talk. That's why. Because he's not going to debate lies with her. So he's only going to accept truth from her. And if she's not going to give it, then she's not going to give it. And yes, it is this all in my opinion, allegedly, and for entertainment and educational purposes only. Mods, I hope you're monitoring the chat. I have no, no idea. Um, I have a lot of friends in this already. Oh, she's got lots of friends, guys, but not in any that she could tell. Except for the time I picked up a pew pew and shot her ten times, supposedly. Do you see how angry she gets? No, seriously, I would never hurt her. You have to believe me. I would never hurt her. I, I don't. I don't play around with that. Okay, I'm not going to play around with this. Okay. I'm, I'm listen anything. to me. Listen to me. Don't let that snowball get bigger because that's what you're doing right now. Okay. You you have a chance. You have the opportunity right here, right now. Because once I walk out that door and that opportunity is gone, guess what? It's gone. It's just like when that paper is taken away and you're writing that pencil, you don't have a chance to erase that mistake. Okay. You need to, in your family, in your friends, you don't have very many family members, but you've got a lot of friends. And we've talked to them all. Okay. I never want them want to know why. That's all they want to know. That's all anybody's they, they ever wanted to know. They still love you. They still care about you. Yep. They still, listen to me. Listen to me for just a second, okay? All they want to know is why. And, and I have to give that to them because they can't sleep at night. Because they want to know why. That's all they want to know. Okay? That, that's all they're looking and for. And people want to know why she's dangerous. I have a million questions right now. Okay. And, so. and you know what? And I'm proud of you for wanting to ask those million questions. And you know what? We can answer those. Okay? Okay. But we got to get down to the bottom of why. Okay. okay? The why. She wanted to distract him by friends. asking him questions and making him be the they're one on the defensive to have to answer her. They all love you. But guess what? Sure. Those friends are standing at the bottom of that hill. I understand. And, this, and that snowball is getting ready to crush them because they but, want, they I mean, want to know why. I think very, very clearly. You think that it's me? Why do you uh, think that it's me? I have always listen, loved listen my mother. My mom I've always me. loved my mother, me. which means I don't love my mother now. Please don't do yourself an insult. Past That's tense again. You're, you're still doing it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, but you've got to believe me. Let me cry some more. Do you not think that we've already talked to some people, okay? Do you not think that we've talked to everybody? I mean, we, I'm not going to come in here with, without having all my things in line. Okay, I want you to understand that. Of course okay. I understand that. And and we need to get to the why. When we get to the why, then all these other questions I can answer for you, and we can get move on with this, okay? And you're, you're the person that knows the why. You're the only person that knows the why, okay? And, and that's where we're at with it. You're the only one that knows the why. You're he the is the only one that knows the why. Do you really He's want not to wrong. Support your friends? No, of course not. Okay, then why? May I please No. When we get to the why, this happened. I don't. I don't even really know what happened. Okay. I notice she gets real soft. I don't really know what happened because my mother kicked me out of my house. My mother kicked me out of my house. We're having relationship problems. Um. 
guess she wanted you to stay with her girl forever. She didn't really. No, Gypsy, she didn't want you running around with 35 year old men. There, there's a difference. You were you were definitely past the age of where you were be pretending to be a little girl anymore. You had corsets, you had wigs, you had lingerie, you had internet access. You were seen out walking the streets. You were found in multiple men's rooms over the age of 35. Could it possibly be that you were just sex crazed and your mother wanted some control over you because she didn't want you to make bad choices in your life at this point? I mean, I understand Didi's not mother of the freaking year. But it doesn't have to be a monstrous thing as you're making it out to be. But notice, she said, I loved my mother. Notice she's trying to sell this story now. Oh, well, you know, mom and I, we just had our differences. And she told me to get out. And oh, my God. And she's going to try and keep going with this. Of Well, what happened after I left? Did, did, she, did she unalive herself? Did she... It just keeps going, guys. And that's why this was such an important piece of evidence for me and why it changed our entire team's actual thought process on this case. After asking for it for three years and knowing, knowing that Christy and Gypsy were absolutely trying to keep this video from our team in any way, shape, or form they could because they were causing any distraction they could from it. Including it up to bringing another fiance on board and causing all kinds of problems in the media with that. That's why you don't let her talk because you don't let her talk because anything that comes out of her freaking mouth is just another lie. It's not picking on a victim. It's exposing a predator. So like my boyfriend, um, and she was like pretty much, um, if you want to move to Wisconsin with him, fine, go. And I packed my stuff. Um, she basically wanted me out of the house before then because we kept on having arguments. Kept on having I'm arguments. I'm a person who never, ever hurt her. And, um, and a lot of our arguments stemmed from being with Nick. And so I just basically chose to come here. I gave him money to come here. And, um, and I said, can you please come pick me up? Because my mom's kicking me out of the house real soon. And that's when he asked his mom, can, can I stay with his mom and him and his stepdad and his little brother? His mom said, fine. So, um, anyway, uh, I don't exactly know the exact date he came to Springfield, but I know that I gave him the money to stay at a hotel. And, um, anyway. So, so we all like my mom, then we went and made some brownies and giggled about it and done, done giggled about my, my lady parts. And then, and then we did, we just did more things. Okay. Oh. You, you listen to me, okay? Let's get back to the why. I, I, we can talk all night long about this other stuff and I'll sit here and I'll listen to you and I'll listen to everything. I, this investigation is very thorough, okay? And there's a lot of whys. And, 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 those whys. and the sheriff's office did a great job, to be honest with you. They did they did a lot of investigating and Patterson shut Patterson, it down. The piece that you need. You need a lot of peace with inside of you. Okay. You you look how calm she is. Off your chest. She's not worried, she's not crying, she's not upset. She's just stoic. And your your friends, okay? My friends know me. As a sweet yes, you're right. And as, as a right. sweet girl. But you know what? Sometimes sweet people make mistakes. Right. Everybody does. Okay. You make mistakes. I make mistakes. But you know what? I, I'm glad you're not this person that's out here going around and doing this to a lot of other people. Okay. I'm glad you're not that person. If you well, are, she is. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to be in the same room with you. I, I certainly do. wouldn't want to be. Okay? But I think what it is, I think there's a lot of frustration in your life. I think that you're, you know, there's some things that you and your mom, you know, you've already said that your mom, you kind of had some arguments and you kind of had some strange relationships, okay? But we worked through and, it. And you know what? And you work through it. You're right. You do. But sometimes that can get the better of people, okay? And I think that's kind of where you're at with that. I think that, that you're stressing your life because your mom wanted you to stay so little all the time. Finally got to a boiling point and you just said, you know what? I'm done. You know, no matter what, mom, I'm going to go with my boyfriend. I'm going to do whatever I want now. You made that decision, okay? Thank you guys for all the support. Why? 
this happened to your mom. Okay. It, you know what? People make mistakes every day. You do. I do. We all do. We've established that. And I'm going to establish it every time because you know what? That's what this is. It's just, it's just a mistake. That's all it is. Okay. It's not something that's so huge out here. It's just, oh my gosh, it's, it's a mistake. It's a simple little mistake. Hold on. It's, it's Guys. a simple little mistake is all it was. Angelique, you want to clue me in on who you are? Because I know exactly who you are. Does that mean that you have a, do you have a last name that I recognize? Because I swear I saw a last name that I recognize, but possibly not. I could be wrong. But you know what? I don't have to give you an explanation of my credentials or anything of that. I, I thought I saw a different last name. Sorry. But you know, I'm just pointing out this. We're going through this. I am the leading expert on this case. If you don't know who I am, go back to the beginning. Go watch them out. Go watch other things. But if you happen to be a person who I think you might be, you just keep watching. That's fine. It's okay. Okay. I have, I have over seven years of experience with this family. I know exactly what she's doing. I knew the basic facts of what is going on. Um, my friend. So she's trying now to get the basic facts out of him so she can craft this new story in the moment because she wants to know what he knows. Do you understand? He wants to know what she knows. Oh, yes, I did used to be friends with Christy. You're absolutely right, except Christy Blanchard doesn't have friends. Christy Blanchard has peace bull she uses. That's it. Does your last name end in St. Pierre, Angelique? I'd really like to know. I do have a phone, but it doesn't call people. I just basically used it for Yahoo messaging app. And um, one of the people that had texted me, I had texted him that I was leaving home. And he texted me and um, he's like, are you okay? Um, people have been posting some stuff on Facebook. And so now she's admitting she knows about the Facebook post. And of course, the police came. That she made. And those were her words. And if you don't go read those words and see how dark and demented and calculated and cold and manipulative and sociopathic that she is, and I'm not diagnosing her, I am simply pointing out things that she that she exhibits. She exhibits manipulation tactics. She exhibits sociopathic tactics. She exhibits no remorse. She has no emotional reactions. She does not have normal reactions to any thing is it because of what happened to her from her mother and her family you betcha it doesn't change the facts of the case and you're letting the facts you're letting all the distraction cloud your judgment as you're watching somebody like this right here after she's now been told her mother is unalive, she is not crying, she is not upset, she's not changed her motion, she hasn't had a breakdown which everybody deals with grief differently I get it. But what she's doing right now is she's trying to suss information from him so that she can figure out what her next chess move is. Before I could even read what he was saying. So I guess he was trying to tell me something. Okay. Do you see that that's what your friends, all your friends are wondering why? All right, why? you're out. I'm done. I'm not going to argue with you. that friend that you're talking about Can't be reached. wondering why. Mm -hmm. I don't like Lee is worried about you. Aaliyah, are you kidding me? Look at me. Look Aaliyah. at me. Aaliyah's always me. been a bully to me. Okay, but look at me. Aaliyah has always been a bully to me. Did you see the laugh? Did you see the? <laughs> That's her tell. <laughs> That's her tell. Taylor, yes, you can be a mod. I don't know how to do that. Hold on. It's not letting me do it from here. I'll have to do it. Hold on a second. I can go in here and do it. No. Taylor, I'll make you a mod um, next time. It's okay right now. I don't see anything major going on in the in the chat, so I think I'm okay. But um, I think I think we can do that another time. Um, I can go over to uh, to to YouTube itself and actually do it. But okay, so this is where I wanted to get to today. Okay, guys, this was this was my goal. I wanted to get to this spot. Okay, 
I wanted you to hear her, how quickly she throws her confidant, her best friend, her big sister, the person who helped find her, the person that gave everything to her, okay? The person that she considered her or made only friend, really, in the neighborhood. She that, that was her best friend, you know? And she wanted, she wished Amy, Aaliyah's mom, was her mom because she let her do things and she let her have friends and she let her have boyfriends. And that's what she wanted was a boyfriend. She just wanted a boyfriend. If mom had just been, you know, let her do whatever she wanted to do and run the streets, then mom would probably still be alive today and there would be no abuse situation going on. She would never have claimed it. She would have just never done so. But mama didn't want her to let her have sex with all kinds of men on the internet. And that's what she wanted. And she took her mom's life. It, he said, what he said was, is that Aaliyah was at the bottom of the hill. He's still going, giving the snowball analogy and Aaliyah is worried about her. And all she wants to know is why. And her giggle is, <laughs> Aaliyah, she's always been a bully to me. Here, let me play it back for you one more time. Let's see if I can skip backwards just a tiny smidge. Some people make mistakes every day. You do, I do, we all do. We've established that. And I'm going to establish it every time because you know what? That's what this is. It's just it's just a mistake. That's all it is. Okay? It's not something that's so huge out here. It's just, oh my gosh, it's it's a mistake. It's a simple little mistake. My mom. It's, it's just a simple mistake is all it was. Okay? You know what? I don't know. If I knew the basic facts of what is going on um Sweetheart. my friend my friend had um i have a, um i do have a phone but it doesn't call people i just basically used it for yahoo messaging app and um one of the people that had texted me i had texted him that i was leaving home and he texted me and um he's like are you okay um, people have been posting some stuff on Facebook and asking. Ten to one says that's Dan, folks. Ten to one, that's Dan that she was te she was texting the thirty five year old boyfriend that she's had the entire time. What post? And unfortunately, the police came before I could even read what he was saying. So I guess he was trying to tell me something. Okay. Do you see that? That's what your friends, all your friends, are wondering why. Mm -hmm. Even that friend that you're talking about is wondering why. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah is worried about you. Aaliyah? Are you kidding me? Look at me. Aaliyah. Look at me. Aaliyah's at me. always been a bully to me. Okay, but look at me. Now, I want you to understand, she just threw Aaliyah under the bus. And in the documents from the case file, she'd already done that once before to somebody else in the neighborhood who was disabled. When she, when there was right, right about the time that she was sending Nicholas money, right about the time, and I'm going to stop this here. We'll actually come back to do it another night. Um, the rest of it I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay. Um, so I can, uh, so we can do, we're going to do all the way up to where she basically turns on Nick and then we'll do, you know, a wrap up of that. But Oh, absolutely. A case study. I'm writing it. I definitely talked to my husband last night about it where I'm going to do my dissertation on this. I've decided to go ahead with my psychology degree and I want to put this into the books to be studied as, as how did this happen? What is this? Is it child abuse? Is it medical child abuse? What did we actually witness here? Because it's vastly different than any other medical child abuse case I've ever looked at. And I've looked at a lot. Okay. But I want you to think about that. She just threw Aliyah under the bus like that. She's going to throw Nick under the bus in a little bit. She does that to every single person who is no longer a value or use to her. That's what she does, folks. That's who she is. That's exactly. She is showing you right now exactly the true Gypsy Rose. That's her right there. Cold, calculating, manipulative. Cold, calculating, manipulative, schmurderer. I don't care what the fuck she identifies as. She's a schmurderer. And now, like I said last night on my live, which will be up in just a little bit, I'll put it up. I'm not going to do the replay like I normal do, normally do. Okay. Now, she can do it and manipulate people and people will unalive for her. 
without her ever asking them to do so. She doesn't even have to ask now. Some crazy, somebody who's not right in the head, is going to think that unaliving someone for her is the right thing to do. And she doesn't even have to feel wield the weapon anymore, guys. She doesn't have to. It's cult mentality. You know what I mean? All right, guys. I'd like to open this up for about 30 minutes to an hour um, for direct questions over the interrogation video. Um, yes, I will be going over Nick's interrogation video as well. Okay, because I definitely want to talk about some of those things. There's a lot to talk about in that, but I really wanted to do this one first. I'm trying to stay off of Nick until February 5th. Okay, so please give me time. That's when his appeal is decided one way or the other. And I would never want to get in the way of that appeal for him. Okay, um, I, I, I do believe that he deserves a retrial. I doubt he'll get it. I think he needs a change of venue. And I think he needs to be put somewhere where he can be safe. And away from society where he can't be dangerous either because he's just as dangerous because he's so manipulatable. He's had other women in prison manipulate him. You know? Um, yeah, I did interview Aaliyah, actually. Um, and I've actually done interviews in In Touch magazine with Aaliyah. Um, we, we did a, a joint a joint, uh, a joint one. I think it was In Touch or it could have been the Springfield News Leader. I can't remember which one it was. But I did a whole whole thing with her. And she's devastated. Um, because the, the, the socials try to shut us down for saying certain words. So we make up dumb words for it, which I think is absolutely ridiculous that we can't use actual words that are real. Um, okay. What does she think of Gypsy Rose? Well, from the last time I talked to her, she was hurt. No, she never, she, no, she just called her a bully because that's just what happened. She just called her a bully because that was what came into her head. That was the lie she wanted to tell. Um, I'm not even sure Aaliyah knows that that ha that she did. I I don't know. Um, you know, I I just don't. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take some questions, put them up on the screen. I'm hoping there's some good ones about the interrogation video that we've seen here. Is there anything that you guys want to talk about? Ask about? Um, yeah, there's a whole nother portion to this. Okay. There's way more, 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 more. Okay. Life from coming after people who negatively cover. Yeah. Okay. Hey, has the Blanchards and Lifetime been coming after people who negatively cover Gypsy? Well, if you go to my TikTok, you'll see the, me me the message that they sent to News Nation to make sure that my segment was pulled so I wouldn't be able to talk about any of this. And they told them if they didn't, they would never do another interview with them ever again. So anybody who tells a different narrative, guys, they get boasted. Anybody who freaking talk, who goes against their, their little cushy narrative that they have created, their little fantasy fucking world... That's who gets that's good. That's who gets taken out. I was one of those people. MJ Pack was one of those people. Michelle Dean was one of those people. Aaliyah was one of those people. Nick was one of those people. I, the list goes on and on. Rachel was one of those people. The list goes on and on and on and on. It's what they do. It's who they are. Um, they're bullying people on 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 the on social medias. They're having people go and attack people's freaking um, accounts with community guidelines for anything and everything. That's the thing. Like I said, guys, they no longer even have to do the deeds themselves. They have a whole army, 9 million of them on TikTok to do it for her, to do it for her. So I've asked you guys to start tagging any news media, any independent news, any podcast, any person that you think needs to see the content that we put out, the information that we have. Please, please, please share, like, comment, tag. This needs to get out. She's dangerous. Her family is dangerous. Do you, were you meaning when they were questioning her? I do not believe so. I will get clarification from the Waukesha um, first responder that brought them in um, and see if they were. Um, I, I believe it was like 16 hours of a wait. So I'm sure a prosecutor was around, had been notified, probably had warrants, uh, warrants already out and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I saw the petition and I signed it. 
please, please, I will share that out on my socials tonight. I'll make a po post about it, guys. It's it's a it's a petition that's going around. I did not start it. It's just a petition that's going around that is to petition to get her removed from social media. If people make enough big enough stink about it, possibly they can make change. And um, I, I mean, that's that's a first step. I can't do anything about her walking around, but I sure as shit can keep her out of out of our children's lives. I can sure as shit warn you about her. And as long as she's standing over there talking about how it's her best life and you can't take me down, I'm going to be standing over here screaming, hey, she's fucking dangerous. Watch your fucking back. Okay. Why did she lay on the little floor listening under the door? Well, if you just realized that the gig was up, that you were totally 100% fried in this whole thing, that you no longer had a chance. He just told you you're going to jail, sister. What would you do? Would you want to know what they were talking about? She laid on the ground because she wanted to hear, because she wanted to know exactly what her next move would be. Exactly. And what does she do? She's laying on the floor. Okay. And the first thing she does is when they ask her, you know, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I was just trying to, I was just trying to find out what's going on. I, I just said that's all right. Okay. And this, this is on a different video on the same playlist. And we will be playing that when we do our next, our next session of this. Okay. And then he comes in and that's when she hits him with, because he, he tries to arrest her. I can't go to prison. I'm very, very sick. That's funny because the hospital just gave you a clean bill of health, sweetheart. No, you're not. And then he shuts the door. And immediately she looks up and I think she apologizes to her mother. I think that might be the only remorse she has ever shown. But I actually think it's it's like a, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. I totally fucked this up. And then she literally screams out, I want a lawyer. Sarah, I want a lawyer. Which means she always knew she could have a lawyer, folks. She just didn't think she needed one. They gave her a clean bill of health. Yes. 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 She did talk about that. She talked about her. She talks about her mother being sick. She talks about it. In the interrogation video, she talks about it. She tells it to the officer. She's very chatty. She's very chatty. She just knows how to establish rapport. And you know how the doctors say, how they always say that in, that Mike Stanfield said she never talks? Oh, no, 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 no. She's talking all through these freaking files right here, guys. All through them. It, say, it states in here, Gypsy says, patient said, Gypsy did, Gypsy says. Okay, she was talking. The only time, the part, the part where Mike says, oh, she covered her ears. Do you know what she was telling her? Oh, she's so clumsy. Oh, don't let her know she's clumsy. Oh, God, it would break her little heart if she was clumsy. Are we serious now? Can we be real about this? Why are we normalizing this? Why are we saying this is okay? I, I just, I can't. I cannot accept this. I cannot allow our society to say that this is okay. There's already been copycats now. They're already starting. They're already starting. This is so not okay. This is so not okay. But 9 million people seem to think so. However, I think a lot of those are probably bots or bought uh, bot profile people to get her boosted so she can make the money that she wants to make on TikTok. We can't be quiet anymore. I can't be the only one screaming from the rooftops. I need your support. We have to stand together against this. We have to take a stand. We have to say this is not what we are going to allow our youth to turn into. We have to tell them that our youth do not want, we do not want our youth subjected to this shit. No, we don't want her on Dancing with the Stars. I don't want to see her on a red carpet. No, I don't want her on social media. I don't want her pimping out her 15-year-old nephew for hitting him up in the DMs because he's so damn cute. No, I don't want any of that. 
because my grandson's watching and my future grandchildren are watching, will be watching. And my children were affected by her personally and their family. And they destroy lives. That's who these people are. They are saboteurs and they sabotage everything and they do destroy lives. No, I don't think she does. I, exactly. Because she doesn't fit criteria. Her mother received rewards, relocation, new home, trips that are not part of Impoxy. Not to mention, I have already told you, when Colleen comes back, we will go through all these medical records with you. And Dr. Steele just signed on today to start looking at them. Not Dr. Steele from the thing, Dr. Steele from TikTok. She signed on to look at these because something isn't right. It's not medical child abuse. I just, I really, allegedly, and in my opinion, it's not medical child abuse. I've been screaming it for seven years. I just didn't know how right I was. It's not medical child abuse. 99% of everything in there was absolutely medically necessary. And then the rest was just some bullshit they put in files and medically and medical fraud. I don't know when Colleen's coming back, ask Ella Connelly. Um, she is, um, she's in her first week of, of, teach of a teaching position as an assistant director and she's got two kids and they're there she's having they're having uh, medical problems and she's under the weather right now so it could be sometime this week or it might be next week i don't know but this week we're going to stay on interrogation videos the whole week okay so we're, that because that's where i told everybody i wanted to start right i've told everybody you got to start with the interrogation video because it really flips this on its head all right um you know, I had Christy on the phone when I was when I was talking with Aaliyah, so I didn't get to ask the questions that I would have liked to ask because Christy guided that conversation. Yeah. Oh, hey, Para, can I be part of that? Can we work something out? I would love to participate in that because I've talked to a lot of the experts and I've done a lot of research. You know, like here, look, see, this is okay, I just want to show you how. how this book it's literally falling apart this is louisa lasher's and mary sheridan's book on munchausen by proxy i have read dr feldman's books on munchausen by proxy i've talked to dr feldman i've talked to louisa lasher i've talked to mary smith i've talked to beatrice shorker i've talked to mike weber all the main people that are munchausen by proxy medical child abuse medical child abuse um uh experts and i'm sorry I've, i'm asking them to look at this again I, because they've never looked at the files they've never seen the files feldman never looked he even admitted to me in an, in, a, in an email that he never actually looked at the files he just went by what he was told that all of this had happened in, in 23 years and she survived and blah 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 blah, blah. She, that's how you snow people that's how you snow people because the story is so big so crazy so whatever you just don't look at all the things that you need to look at you know um, I want to close. I, I, I'm going to take, let's see, what time is it? I will take a few more questions, but I really wanted to read this again. If you didn't get a good enough snapshot of who Gypsy Rose really is, if you didn't get it from, from what we went over today, if you haven't gotten it from all of our different do documentaries, if you haven't figured it out by now, folks, let me read you her own words in a manipulation video that she sends to Nicholas Godijan to get him to do the deed. Have you seen it? It's posted on YouTube. It's posted on Facebook. It's posted on TikTok. And then I need you to go and look. I'm going to post the, 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 the document I read yesterday, which was one of the medical records from Dr. B, who I think is in on all of this. Okay. But let's read this. When answered, I did. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I did my time. I sense she meant, so what? I did my time. That's done. And I'm living my best life. And, you know, she wishes him well on his journey, guys. Don't you know? Yep. Yep. Okay. So here we go again. Here's the document from the case files. This is, this is, this is Snowball Man's case report. Okay. This is his case report. Stan Hancock. Dated 127-2016. I have had this the whole time. I didn't find it till the other day. Again, I at one point in time must have seen it, highlighted it, put it aside, thought, hey, this is crazy. And then 
I was so caught up in the drama and the distraction that I just ignored this whole freaking case file. And I just kept looking at the medical records and, and what she was saying instead of paying attention to the real meat of this story, which is Nick, her relationship with Nick, the case file, that kind of evidence, the autopsy, which I've always wanted and didn't get because, you know, Christy couldn't be bothered to find it. Oh, it got lost in the mail. Oh, da, 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 da. now it's sealed because of Nick's trial. I was too busy trying to validate what these doctors, how could these doctors do this? How could these doctors do this without looking at maybe because they thought it was necessary, maybe because it was necessary. Maybe her teeth were clum crumbling at four and five and six years old before she ever took Tegretol, fancy. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, all those surgeries that she claimed she had were dental surgeries, eye surgeries, and ear tubes. Oh, and a feeding tube that we are still trying to track down. And I had a long conversation with Dr. Steele about it today and, and what that really means and how, because it really puts a lot of perspective into this case as to who and why and how that got placed. And that's one of the records we don't have. But I want to read this and then I'm going to close out. Okay. Stan Hancock supplemental report 127 2016. This is video from Gypsy's cell phone videoing herself to Nicholas. I was notified by Springfield Police Department. Com com Let me start over. I was notified by Springfield Police Department computer forensic analyst Michael Costello. Man, that's a lot to say. In reference to audio video footage he located involving Gypsy Blanchard. The audio video was 15 minutes long. The following is a summation of the record, rec or the recorded audio video of Gypsy Blanchard. It is not intended as a transcript or exact text of the recording, but he does put things in quotation marks and I will do this when he does. In this audio video, Gypsy appears in what looks like a black and color jacket with a red wig, addressing it to Nicholas from Gypsy, calling him Sir. She states, hi, sir, this is Ruby, and I'm making this video as an introduction video. So that's the first video from Ruby, right? I mean, that's what introduction would, would give you, right? Gypsy admits Ruby is the most evil side of her. Gypsy stated in this audio, she likes to get into trouble and she is not sorry when she gets caught. Gypsy stated her caring was broken and she was not scared of law enforcement, but she would be scared of Nicholas's evil side. Gypsy stated she would do anything with Nicholas to include schmurder, grape, and chisalt. Gypsy tells Nicholas if at any time a girl tried to become his girlfriend, she would unalive them with pleasure and there would be lots of gore and blood. Gypsy stated if a girl was trying to get with Nicholas for sex, she might allow it. But if the girl tried to get, a, get with him as a girlfriend, she would unalive her and they could unalive her together. Gypsy goes on to say how if it were family members schmurdered, she would not be so brutal and she would have to take a step back and let him handle it. Gypsy stated she would allow Nicholas to grape her anytime he wanted to, but not physically assault her. But she was okay with rough sex and grape sex. Gypsy talked about the romantic side of Ruby and how Ruby, I'm sorry, rough and rape was there. That was, that was another quote. Was Gypsy talked about the romantic side of Ruby and how Ruby was not touchy feely. However, Kitty, Candy, Candy and Bella, remember rich fantasy life, Twilight book and the freaking crime scene photos, you know, Bella were the romantic sides of her. Gypsy stated in this audio video, she was very good at stealing and talked about how they could steal bigger things together. Gypsy talked about how she was very good at planning things. Gypsy said she likes to cause mischief and mayhem. But Nicholas would have to put her in charge of all the planning. Gypsy stated she comes up with very, very bad ideas. 
And then she referred to her bad ideas as robbery, grape, vandalism, and stealing vehicles. The remainder of the video, Gypsy talked about her and Nicholas bonding when they could finally be together. Other than the above mentioned statements, there was nothing else of evidentiary value on the audio video footage. Now, fucking make it make sense. Those are her own words. Are you still going to sit here and tell me that you think she's sweet, sweet pie and everybody should just eat her up and let her be? This is why she should not be in society. This is why she should not be freaking out here on me on social media. And yes, she was definitely a thumb sucker and her mouth was shaped weird from bottle rot and from sucking on a bottle too long. And that's why she lost her dumb teeth. Good God. Dee Dee may not be the best mother in the damn world. She did a lot of shitty shit. She probably, she probably unalived her own mother and tried to unalive a couple other people, guys. Okay, I get it. Not good people. But when I say not good people, I mean the whole collective of not good people. But she sure as shit didn't deserve to go that way. And her daughter had other options. She just didn't want to take them. Because all those other options, you know what all those other options led to? Possibility of life in prison for fraud. Because that's how much fraud she would have been hit with. Not even joking. Not even joking. She couldn't turn her mother in because they would have known she was complicit. And in the court of law, they don't think that abuse, that abu being abused is a reason for you to go ahead and commit other crimes. They just don't. In a court of law, that matters none. And she plotted her mother's murder for two years. More than that, we just know two years. Okay? And that takes a lot to keep it a secret, to have online relationships like she did constantly, communication with them constantly, purchasing things, buying things, stealing money from her mom, accusing neighbors down the street of a break-in and a girl who had a disabled girl, mentally disabled girl who had a key, accusing her of breaking in when you know that you freaking took that thousand dollars and sent it to Nicholas to get here. It's ridiculous what we are accepting. I just won't stand for it. I just won't. So you can call me crazy. You can call me obsessed. You can call me pissed off. You can call me angry. You can call me all the things you want. You can talk about my past. You can talk about who I had partnerships with and who I didn't. You can talk about my evictions and they can do all those things. That's what the Blanchards all put out there all about me and their little merry band of people that run around and kiss their fucking asses and all want money. That's all they care about. just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. All right, guys, come with good questions tonight. Come with thought provoking questions based off of the interrogation video and anything that would have to do with, with that type of the manipulation, the tactics she used to convince him. That's the stuff I want to talk about tonight. Okay. That's, it's going to be an all uh, tonight on TikTok. It's going to be at eight 30 from eight 30 to 10 30. All questions the whole time. I may do like a 20 minute speech in the beginning and then I'm going to open the floor for that to happen. So 8.30 to 10.30 Eastern Standard Time on TikTok. There will be a replay posted here. I'm going to put the replay up from last night as well. It won't be, um, I'm not going to do the commentary because I have a lot of th other things I need to work on. Um, I'm also, I'm also last night. So I want to tell you about last night's last night's live because it's going to be a little bit much. Okay. I got wild. I got out of control. I got crazy last night and I talked about all the drama. Like I said, one and done. I was going to talk about the drama in that, that certain thing. Um, four hours and approximately 20 minutes, Cindy. I mean, I think that's, that's, I think that's right time right now. Okay, good wives net TikTok. Listen, I want you to be warned before you go in and you watch this one because I talk about all the drama in this case, all the people, all the things. My partners, Natasha Cooper, Katie Joy Paulson, Christy Blanchard, all of that. And I know you guys think it's just drama, but it's not. That's all this case is. And what I'm trying to warn people about is an actual situation of cyber stalking and cyber bullying that went on for seven years while these two people were behind bars. 
and their families perpetuated it. They perpetuated it. They participated in it. And it's not okay. And it wasn't just me. And I did at one point go to the FBI. And I do intend to call my state trooper tomorrow. And I do intend to sit down with him. And I am going to seek out legal advice to try to make this stop. Because this is ridiculous. Because all they're trying to do is distract you from the truth and not get the story out there. They have done everything they could possibly do to discredit me. I think I've proved myself pretty well. So we started, I have, you know, the Good Advice Network, we have merchandise, we have different things, we, we support, everything supports what Colleen and I and Sarah and Christina, who is still with us, whether she's here in, in body or not, does. And we also have a nonprofit called Stop the Cycle of Abuse Program. And in the Stop the Cycle of Abuse program, that is that is a, a nonprofit that we are trying to launch to help prevent domestic violence, child abuse, and to educate on medical child abuse and the and and these cases and understanding how parents can do this and how generational trauma affects them. Um, so we started a cyberbullying campaign, um, which I'll be posting tonight. Um, and on Bonfire, you can go over and you can buy a Let Them shirt. It, it's I, I I designed it. It's got a let them in the center with a heart and it's it's two uh, skeleton hands around it. And then on the back, it says, let them talk about you, let them gossip, the whole thing, but just keep on shining. And for every shirt, shirt that we sell, we're donating $2 to the, to the, um, to the foundation and in every sweatshirt we're donating between four and five. So just depending on, um, depending on which sweatshirt you buy. Okay. Um, so we'll post those tonight too. Um, they are in my link tree though, if you want to go find them and you can find us on all the socials at good wives net, you can email us at tips for F O R not the letter, not the number tips for good wives at gmail.com. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing here, you can join our, our team, our research team, social media team. We're looking to put together a really great team. I need grant writers. I need, I need grant writers. I need social media. I need a lawyer. I need an attorney. I need a tax person. So if there are these people that you have services and you would like to help out, um, it's not like, you know, I'm not asking you just to donate all your stuff. Well, eventually, you know, we'll work out a thing. And hopefully once the company is doing well, we can, we can compensate. Or if we win a lawsuit, you know, we'd compensate obviously. But um, we're just asking for everybody to pitch in and help in any way they think they can. Um, because I just, there's just so much to do. And this is just one story. And we have so many that we've worked on and want to get done. So I just appreciate you guys' love and support. Um, check out the Patreon. I'm going to put in this week, I'm working on getting Christy's letters, Dorla's letter, which is the um, Dee Dee's sister, Rod's letter. All the letters are going to be put in this week. Okay. So anything that was written to the courts or during the period of time that they were in Greene County. Um, before they were sentenced and, and everything and ended up in, in Chillicothe. I'm going to put all of those in Patreon today. Um, some of them are in there. There's already Christie's War Room was in there. There's so much information in there from before that I didn't even realize was already in there. The case file is in there. All the documents are in there. Um, all the all the crime scene photos are in there. Um, so it's everything you could possibly want. And we're just trying to put more things in there for you guys. But I'm really, I'm hoping that we can impact change here, guys. We don't have to stand for this. We don't have to sit around and allow this to happen in our society. We can speak out. We can speak out. We can say this. We are louder. We are a louder voice than Gypsy Rose. We can come together. I don't care what your political beliefs are. I don't care whether you think she was abused or not abused. It just doesn't matter. Everything's at Good Wives Net. It just doesn't matter. She's dangerous. Her family is dangerous. And she is impacting our children's lives. And I want it stopped. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. See you tonight. Love you all so very much. I think this live went amazing. You had good questions. I will take some of the questions that you have put in here. I'm going to go through today. I'm going to write them down, put them in a document, and we're going to try to answer them one by one as we talk about this, okay? Um, so I think you guys, um, I think you guys, thank you guys for your help. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this live a little better than the chaotic TikTok lives for some of you that complain about our lives not being 
um, being very chaotic and everything. Um, but 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on TikTok tonight with all your questions. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, guys.